So transferring from community college to university, it was just a completely eye-opening and shocking experience. They're just two completely different environments and it felt like I was a goldfish being dropped into the ocean when I finally transferred. So today I wanted to go over the three main things that contributed to this transfer shock and what you can do as well to combat this so your transition from community college to university is a lot more seamless. And for quick context, my name's Adam. I went to community college and I transferred to UC Berkeley and I recently just graduated as well. So with that, let's go over the three main things that contributed to my transfer shock. Okay, so starting off with the first thing that made this experience very shocking. And with this first thing, it honestly could be a blessing or a curse. So not knowing anybody at my university. So when I transferred to UC Berkeley, I knew absolutely nobody. I had only been to the Bay Area one time, so I was going into a completely new situation of just knowing nobody at the university. And I remember my first week at UC Berkeley, I lived off campus, so I didn't have the experience of just making easy friends in the dorms. So my first week, I didn't know absolutely nobody. School hadn't started yet, so couldn't meet anybody in my classes yet or like through clubs and this did not last too long and I didn't want it to last too long. Obviously you want to make friends and one of the main values of college is just making a lot of connections and just meeting people but I made it a focus and if there's one key thing that you take from this video is to join clubs, join organizations on campus because this is how you meet people. Because many times these clubs are gonna be very social organizations. So if you make one friend in that group, you know, you hang out with them, you meet their friends and so on and so forth. You just keep expanding your friend group. So making that first connection is important and you could easily do this by joining a club, joining Greek life, etc. And GTS Kombucha, please sponsor me. So the second thing that really shocked me was dealing with imposter syndrome. So. I really didn't know that this was going to be one of the main obstacles that I was going to have to deal with when I finally transferred. And taking a quick step back, so I felt so accomplished, so special that I was able to get into such a great university, UC Berkeley, and I put in so much work into being able to do that. And all that kind of came crashing down once I finally stepped on campus and realized how many people go to UC Berkeley. I didn't feel special anymore and even in my classrooms at community college I would consider myself one of the top students in my classes and once I finally got to UC Berkeley I was just kind of middle of the pack and kind of just honestly just trying to figure out how am I even going to succeed in these classes but statistically speaking you will adjust to your university classes statistically transfer students they do just as well as first year university students and they actually have higher graduation rates as well so You'll do fine academically. Yes, it will be an adjustment if you're going from like a quarter to semester system, if you're going from smaller classes to a large classroom. Yes, there's an adjustment period, but you're gonna be fine academically. But something nobody told me about was dealing with imposter syndrome, of navigating this feeling that I got into this university by accident, that I'm less worthy of someone that got in as a first year student. So there was that feeling of doubt that I had to deal with. And whenever I would underperform in an exam or something, this imposter syndrome would just hit really hard. But at the root core of it, you just had to have confidence in yourself. You have to rest assured that you're there for a reason, that you have your own strengths, and everybody has their own different route to success in life. And how I personally dealt with my imposter syndrome at university, so it wasn't through my academics because I was doing below average, honestly. It was through my internship recruiting process when I was able to land internship offers at top companies. So through that, I was able to build confidence in myself and just rest assured that I belong at this top university. And I don't recommend gaining this confidence from something external, whether that's an internship offer, whether that's an A in a midterm, etc. Don't recommend something from that because that could easily go away like that. So the confidence has to come internally. You have to believe in yourself and that's how you overcome imposter syndrome. And with the last thing that shocked me when I finally transferred, and this may be exclusive to a top university. So just being in a classroom full of very intelligent and competitive people. So at community college, you know, I felt like the cream of the crop, you know, in my classes, easily getting A's. And I felt like I had the best work ethic at community college. I put in a lot of work. I was working part-time jobs. I was just doing so much with my time. But when I finally transferred, people were doing even more. And that's something that really surprised me. And people that were pushing me to do more, whether that's academically or career-wise with internships. So this was extremely shocking. And I felt like I was in a situation where it's 
No, you either sink or you swim. And this really pushed me to land internships at top companies because before community college, I went to a lower tier university, Cal State San Marcos, and nobody would ever talk about internships. But one of the main topics that people were talking about, at least in that first month, at UC Berkeley was, oh, where did you intern this past summer? And it was all about intern talks or career talks or what do they want to do in the future? And this really pushed me to be put in this environment that I just hadn't been in before. And you might have to kick it up a notch to stay competitive with your new peers. So this might include long nights at the library and just stressful times, but it's through this journey of the long hours that makes whatever goal that you're trying to achieve all that more satisfying and fulfilling. So those are the three main things that shocked me the most when I went from community college to university. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.